Hello, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Johnny Baghead, as always. And it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a while, unfortunately. That wasn't the plan, I swear. But uh, we're going to do some more Dark Souls. Um, there is, There are going to be some new games this week. But I feel a bit bad that just because I haven't streamed since like... Was it like Thursday, Friday? So we're going to fix that. But yeah, we're we're back out again. So today, I want to do the painted world, which is, if I remember right, is basically optional. Like I don't think the you need to do it to progress, but there is some important story and lore stuff. Um, so that's what we're checking out. I think I have all the requirements to do the painted world now. The only other thing I did is, I haven't gone to it yet, but I got the key item you need to access the DLC area. Don't see what? What don't you see? Oh yeah! I'm full screen. Ah, thank you. <laughs> can tell I haven't streamed in a while. But yeah, don't worry. You're lucky you didn't mess anything. Just me picking my character here. Terrell Spud. But yeah, we're going to the, uh, the painted world. To, to find the half-breed. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I don't know if there's any benefit to not, but the the boss of the Painted World, you actually don't need to fight. Yeah, yeah. See, look, it's themed. We, we, we synced it up. So they've got the same theme. It's going to be great. But yeah, you see... Uh, yeah, let's get my binoculars out. Oh. No, put them away. Put them away. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now we can have a look. So yeah, see that there's this big paint in here. I'm trying to think if I can just kind of skirt around all these lads. Not all of them. Nah. Probably if I had, like, the fog ring on. Luckily, I'm quite strong now, so I'm one-hit killing. Especially because I've, I've upgraded the sword so much at this point. Plus, I'd, you know, throwing knives are useful enough. Oh, show off. But yeah, I, like I said, I did get the, uh, we'll look at it in a sec. But I did get the item for the DLC world, but we haven't gone into it yet. I remember it being quite tough. So I'm not sure what the recommended level will be. Okay. Yeah, so there's this big painting here. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're unfortunately just going to have this uh, frame rate issue for a while. Because I, I don't know what to do to fix it. Just my CPU, yeah, my CPU just goes to like a crazy high amount. And then just fixes itself. I've closed Discord. And it's weird because for, like, for the first five to ten minutes it's fine. And then it just 
Whoa. Well, apparently it's, it's already fixed itself, so you must be really behind on my stream. <laughs> but yeah, so... One of the main things with this area is uh, we actually can't leave now. We're, uh, we're stuck here for now. But yeah, this is a completely separate area, like outside of the main map. But I don't remember the lore of this, like why this place exists, but it's a weld inside that big painting that had that kind of hilarious uh, stinner <laughs> when it grabbed us. Oh dear. But, you know, we've got a bit of a different uh, a look because we haven't really had much snow. There's like a little bit of snow in the asylum, but this is a, a fully snowy area. Right, uh, I think I'm going to just kindle this fire while I'm here. Mario 60. Oh, the paintings, yeah. Oh, I'm hollow. Whoops. Don't know when that happened. The reason we were able to come in here is we picked up. Where is it now? Oh no, it's a key item, that's why. There we go. There's once an abomination who had no place in the world. She clutched this doll tightly and event was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Well, hopefully those CPU issues are fixed for now. Good luck. Trying, just trying to get upvotes. Like I said, I, I just... I don't actually really remember what the difficulty is. These are enemies, you know, you see, like, right from the start of the game. But depending on what area you're in, uh, they are... They can be potentially easier or harder. Uh, well, that's a locked door. But that's a... Uh, very classic soul star that that's a shortcut that's going to open up to the bottom bar at some point. I do remember doing this world. I don't know if because it took me a very long time when I originally played this or I did it later. But I do remember doing this. Alright, uh, the frame rate issues here, funny enough, are not my stream. This is just the game doing this. <laughs> the beauty of PlayStation 3. Oh yeah, here we go. These weird guys. Oh no. Those don't work. I need the uh there we go. Okay, that's new. Cheeky. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, my memory. What does my memory remember? Not much. I did not remember those guys poison you. I could tell you that. Uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, hello. I 
think there's birds you fight here? Oh, uh, it's weird memories. Again, there's a good thing about this sword. I don't know what stat it is, but it uh, basically ignores most like walls you swing near it, so it doesn't get a uh, cool. Oh, here's an item. Dry finger. Oh, yep. Oh, I did not remember they looked like this. <laughs> oh, dear. Look look at them lads. Well, not lads, I guess. Are they? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Maybe they're ladettes. Go down. The enemy variety in in Soul games is kind of uh, nuts when you think about it. They re there is really just a huge variety of them. This area might not be too bad, actually. In a pro pro, <laughs> just this this build is really funny. The way I've ended up playing this game, where I've got this great sword and I've just got it. Uh... Oh, a lot of archers in this area. Yeah, I remember that. I'm trying to remember if there is a uh, like recommended strat with these guys. Well, that kind of worked. There we go. So if I backstab them, could you kick them off? Uh, that avoids their uh, their toxic aura. Stop that. <laughs> oh, I didn't avoid that one. I've got to be careful. I'm quite limited on how many of those I have. I did want to check something. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. That's that's my bad. You gotta you gotta make sure you're safe when you you're messing with equipment. Okay, what I wanted to check. I should really start putting some of these away that I'm not actually using. That's the fire one. That might help with the fire damage around here. There we go. A lot of these are soul um, pickups here. I'm trying to remember if there were any like really specific um hmm. I wonder. Let's risk it all. Yeah Love when those work out. Oh and I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> that was just showing off. 
Nice. But yeah, I can definitely say from the the soul drop amount that the uh, I've probably powered up like quite high for this area. The sword definitely helps, but even my base stats seem to are letting me coast. Oh wow, that he dodged. Okay, gotta check the chest. Okay, it's legit. There we go. There's the painted set. So that's uh. Okay, hang on. Let me make sure I'm safe. Okay, I think I'm safe there. So, some poison resistance and magic defense, but obviously it's going to be like very low defense to what I've got on. Hood worn by the. Alabaster clothed guardians of the paintings of Analondo offer substantial protection versus magic. Oh, okay. They have guarded the great paintings of Artemis for ages, passing their duty down for the generations, but the reason for part doing so passed from all memory long ago. And let me check, because sometimes the uh sometimes the other pieces so yeah, that explains why. Yeah, they're all the same. It's a very interesting approach that the Soul games have. Where getting all the armor sets and the weapons is, is useful not not necessarily because it's good equipment always, but just because of what it adds to the lore. A lot of the, the key info. Okay, no, I guess this is... That jump was uh, optional. That's that's one thing I recommend. I don't know if it's still a thing in um, Elden Ring, but I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Oh, weird. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Uh, dry. Okay, I didn't check what this does. Shivered was slightly warm. It's made Marco. Surely it cannot belong to any human. Ah, oh, I don't know what that's for. I go. I keep forgetting. I gotta look up a lot of what the items do. Uh, parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos, and the egg symbolise these. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden. Okay, yeah, that's got something to do with if you're part of that covenant. Like, that's the status effect you put on people. I think that's the case. Forward progress, I think. Let's have a look over here. I don't know if you can tell, but that is moving a little bit. I think it is moving a little bit. But, uh, let's uh, look around more. Hearing all these enemies through the walls, it's real. <laughs> Those bird ladies, or whatever you call them. But yeah, I think. I'm trying to see what I remember about the lore. But I do remember part, like, I think that's kind of what this area is that a lot of. Odd abandoned beings come here. Hmm. Uh, 
this is a weird area. I'm trying to fig figure out where I go from here. Let's see. I hope that's not the drop. Oh no, here we go. Okay. Now I'm back here. I remember... I do remember this. So were... So were people in these paintings before they were undead? Um... Well, yeah, that's the implication that the people you fight who are, um, who are this far gone, like they're just husks, are what happens if you completely lose your humanity and you go completely undead, is you, you turn that eventually. So that is the... implication of uh, what you're fighting. Oh, this area is really dense. I remember that this place. There you are. Hello. <laughs> Get off me. What's weird about this world, actually, that I remember is when you beat it, because the boss you can not fight, um, when you leave and you come out of this world, because you can't warp out, the um, you can warp back in, but then you're stuck again, so you have to run all the way through. It's a little strange. Okay, what's down here? I don't think there's a lot of players in this area right now because uh, they're not seeing messages. Let's see. Uh. Oh. I think these are a demon cells reference. Let's have a look. Mm, no, they're not. Maybe. But the, oh, that might be. You can see that the that thing's moving. There's a uh, little crows around. I remember this a little bit. Oh dear. Hmm. I've got to <laughs> rethink this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, no, not a boss, not yet. They are quite similar to the... The design's a bit different, but there's a very similar enemy in Demon Souls. But that looks more like a blob, kind of like the, the blob enemies in the depths. These do a lot of damage, though. It's gonna be more on my shit about blocking. There's a few. It's 
probably not <laughs> the most efficient way. That no, definitely wasn't. You know, I could be wrong. Yeah. I think a lot of the enemies here are like weak to fire. Oh. Back up. Uh, that's not. That's not really helping that much. Yeah, I could. If I have to do this bit again, I'm just gonna use fire bombs. It's a shame. I upgraded my flasks, and they still feel a bit too weak. There we go. Now it's not too bad now that they're all kind of spread out. There we go. Phew. That's that's not the way to do that area though. <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you that for free. That's a really uh, inefficient dealing with that. I do remember the flame saw being good for something in this area though. A bit more of a look around. Can you backstab these? Uh... No, I don't think you can. They've got really high poise. I could be wrong. I think these like crows are like turning. Are they turning? No, okay. I feel some of them were like turning into those enemies. Area is way more dense and more pass than I remembered. Got path down. This is the way to go because that upper bridge you um can't get through yet. From what I remember, let's have a look over here quick. So I'm gonna take that off for now because it's slowing me down. Door. I have to remember what's here. It's really fun. You can just roll and just knock, knock stuff around. Okay. And I forgot how cool this area just looks. Yeah, it's interesting because you don't have to come here. From what I remember. Look, this is totally missable. Okay. CPU issues seem to have mostly fixed themselves, though it is spiking a bit now. But it was fine for like a good uh, 20 minutes there. I don't know why it got worse again. Yeah, I saw you. I 
think you could kind of tell it's an optional area because all the items we're getting here are soul consumables. At least we're at a stable frame rate right now. I'll take that over anything. Hmm. Okay, so these are like weird prison blocks. Oh, this is a. I believe this is a um, a event a, like AI. This isn't a player or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna heal before this guy gets here. This is... Oh, wow. Whoops. Okay, he's, uh... Tougher than I was expecting. There we go. <laughs> I think... I think... Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, man. That was a lot of souls. There we go. Some humanity and a notch whip. I guess that's a weapon. Let's see. Where are you notched? Here we go. Uh, only slightly effective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. Also causes heavy bleeding. Let's have a quick look at it. I think this is like the only whip of its kind in the game. It's a weird one. I, I'm i trying to remember if some stuff here is like Demon Souls references or not. So that kind of reminds me of like the Monkhood boss. I'm trying to see if this has like a combo, but it looks like it's just a... Oh, there we go. like on the brink of what I can equip without going heavy. Alright. Let's see. Anything around the corner here? Aha! Little bonus there, little secret. I have to figure out what the the game plan for like the upcoming parts of this game is. I'm trying to remember. Is this the front gate? If this is the front gate. That's cool. Yeah, it is. There we go. See. up here let's go have a quick look around here I could be wrong but I feel like this that uh, mechanic of the, the zombies kind of leaning on the ledges was something they did more in Demon Souls as well but, oh man, I don't know how long it's been since I've played that game. Okay, I have to try and remember where that is. It's, it's weird, I remember most of like the over... Ah, oh, it's these fuckers again. <laughs> the wheel man. Vin Diesel's the wheel man. 
not available in stores. I have a sh I have the shield actually. That's just the big wheel. We picked that up at some point. Yeah, I see. Don't you mind? I think these are a lot weaker than the ones in the catacombs. Oh, maybe not. There we go. You've got to be very careful with this many uh, cells on me. Getting a lot of these consumable cells, though. I think down here might be... Oh, that's a crank. Okay. We had to go down here. It's weird, I don't remember a lot of this. <laughs> Okay, that's that's progress, I'm pretty sure. Aha! We're gonna No, that's not what I meant to do. This must not just, this just must not be a... Oh, another one. This just must not be like a super... active area. These days. Cheeky. <laughs> So Okay. Key. Let's uh read up about the key and see if there's anything cool. Uh in the wintry painted well there is a structure resembling an old cathedral. Its annex serves as a type of storehouse. Okay. Oh, this is just all fake walls. <laughs> Not a legit wall in sight. Right, let's just do a due diligence, just check out all the little uh, corners we've got going on here. Okay, that's that well. Is there anything... That's dead end. Oh, please stop. What's the point of this room? Because I don't know. Well, yeah, no, that's like a carved out one. Ah, no. I upset him.
Nice. I've not really used pyromancy much, but maybe I should check it out at some point. Okay. Uh, this it's a little bit. It kind of reminds me actually of the. Um, there's an area in Resident Evil One. I'm trying to remember where it is. That has this kind of a uh, vibe. Let's see, was the yeah okay. Nice humanity. So it's useful to get some of that. Okay, considering how much I have on me, we are going to uh, we're gonna rest. Okay, let's repair some stuff. Go for endurance and vitality for now. Just the safe bets. But I do want to put strength up a little bit more. That's basically what I'm doing now, is just putting those three up. So yeah, so I have been thinking about after this what kind of uh other games I want to stream. Okay, those guys respawn. Oh dear. Uh, my PlayStation 3 shut itself off. <laughs> oh dear. See, I was worried about this happening with this one, but then the other PlayStation 3 I have has also been having issues. <laughs> oh. It's probably because I had it turned on earlier. Don't worry. The game auto saves like constantly, so we should be fine. So, give me just like a few minutes. It is an old PlayStation 3. It's one of the... Um, I think it's overheated. I could be wrong. I need to look up what it means when it does this. I'm actually not sure. I need to look it up. Yeah, I know PlayStation. Wasn't my choice. <laughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's an overheating thing. Um This is unrelated. If you remember when I when that other one was freezing that was a different playstation 3 which i don't know what to do about that it, it might be a good idea to open this one up and dust it because i would not be surprised if it's something weird like that this shouldn't take too long <laughs> okay so what was i talking about yeah i've really been trying to think of what kind of stuff i want to stream alongside this because I've pretty much only been streaming Dark Souls for a while and I think the main game I think just to get it out the way just because we did the first two is to start Max Payne 3 plus uh, the timing of it's quite so about the crackling that just seems to happen with the audio with my capture card when the console resets but Literally, I did those. I did those two playthroughs, which I was only able to do because, like, around November last year, they added, you know, Max Payne One and Two to Xbox backwards compatibility. And um, Remedy, the original developers, have announced that they're going to be doing remakes now, um, which is 
very interesting because Rockstar owns it. Like, even though Remedy were the original developers, because Rockstar were the publishers, they fully own it. But Remedy have somehow negotiated to to be able to remake it. And it's it's interesting discussion there because a lot of people have been like, well, do you actually need to remake those games or not? I think the second game, probably not. But there is the argument that if you want to play it, like the, the PC version is quite old, you know, and there's you have to use a lot of like fan hacks to get stuff working right. And until recently, you couldn't play it on anything newer than an Xbox, original Xbox, you know. Um, but I would say like the first one, there's probably room to do some stuff there. I think the main thing is just when we were playing uh, Max Payne on the Xbox, the aiming was so weird that for that alone, I'm like, I think it's a good idea for if they were doing a remake for console because the aiming is just busted. Like if you spin the stick, it moves in a square. It's the weirdest thing. I've ever felt. All right, Terrell. Let's see what's happened. So I might do Max Payne Free just just so it's like well then that series is done. Just so we can you know have a last look and see well this is where the series went afterwards. Development that one's really weird because they actually start like Rockstar without remedy started developing that game like but years before they did it in-house here we are this is how good the auto saving is in soul games is it it kind of just auto saves a lot and it also doesn't seem to get easily corrupted which is kind of surprising but yeah i think i'm just gonna run past those guys I believe this is the way we want to go. So you you can't go this is hang on, let's go up and we'll look. The other thing I'm thinking of doing is I wanna do like a uh, once a week day where we look at fighting games. Just because I've not really talked about it on the stream, but fighting games are like quite a big deal for me. I thought I saw something glowing. Like, I grew up a lot with 3D fighting games. Doing stuff, like, locally and, and things like that. And I I help out the, the Fightcade devs with stuff. Though, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream Fightcade for a while. But I still want to do some stuff. Yeah, we can't really get past that thing right now. Which I think is like a weird undead dragon. Hang on. Oh, I don't know why I'm really itchy today. And so... I've, what I've been thinking of doing is much like my current habit where I will show off like weird versions of games, you know. We did the Xbox versions of Max Payne 1 and 2. We streamed the... We streamed the PlayStation 2 version of Half-Life 1. And eventually I want to do the original Xbox version of Half-Life 2. If only just to see how it runs. I don't know why, just this area in general really gives me a um, Demon Souls vibe. It has like very similar level design. I remember there being an area in Demon Souls that was very similar to this bridge. Where there was like an underside. Oh, cheeky, they tried to ambush me. Alright. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh 
shit. Oh damn, he can heal too. <laughs> I've met my match. Oh, that's a great sword I want. Actually, I think that... Unfortunately, I can get that sword, but it won't be as big. There we go. Oh, that's useful. That's actually uh, one of the enemies you can farm those drops off. Uh, so, for one of the f streams I want to do is the Wii U version of Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I was talking to some people about it recently of just how interesting it is of a version. Because Tekken's... That's the only Tekken game to show up on a Nintendo system. Ever. <laughs> and it's such a weird version... And what surprised me is when I, because I'm borrowing a copy of a family member, and I was like, let's just see, is anyone playing online? And I got an online game, <laughs> like in 10 seconds. It was really quick. Yeah, so here she is. I think you might like this, uh, this design. Claris, this seems like up your alley. So as you can see, she's got a tail. So this is the half-breed. This is Priscilla. Now, the interesting thing is you don't have to fight her. I can just... Uh... Also, I forget how... Um... But you need something to be able to see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's like half dragon is her deal. Which I think her exact nature isn't uh completely confirmed. I cuz I think there's multiple fan theories like there's one fan theory that um Somehow Seafless, the uh, scaleless dragon. Oh yeah, here we go. We can talk Who to her. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast been stepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be the fight of night. So yeah, she just lets you leave. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that weird gear that we saw on that uh, judge guy. I might quickly just look up and see if there's any uh, benefits to not fighting her. Let's quickly check out that armor I got. So much now. Let's see, a mysterious iron once worn by the uh, Xanius Kin Jeremiah, the legendary exile. No one knows where it is from. The crown bears high quality cloth, which is quite soft to the touch, but its bright yellow colour stings the eyes and is clearly far too big. Uh, it may be tattered, but its bright yellow colour still stings. Yeah. All right, let's look. Uh, let's see. Just listen to the music. Here we go. Optional boss in the painted world. She's initially on hostile and asked played to leave without fighting. Yeah, she's a crossbreed of a dragon, possibly Seath, and either a human or a god.
Oh yeah, she becomes invisible if you, you attack her. Is wise move position since she is initially neutral with Zagas is decided it's recommended to go for a tail first. She becomes invisible. Well, it's up to you. We can leave her. Oh, hang on. Oh dear. I think I'm getting frame drops because a fucking uh, update prompt came up. Well, you know, we'll leave her for now. We can always come back. At some point, there's you. There's a way. There's more to do here. We haven't actually completely scoured this area. Whee! <laughs> oh yeah, I I have to point out that that these stinners they use for the painted world that London is like <laughs> it's a pre-made asset that you can find on like Apple computers. <laughs> it's in like <laughs> you can find it in um. Okay, I'm gonna quickly put this. On. You can find it in like iMovie and Garage and Garage Band. Like for all the original music they made, and then they're like, oh, let's just use this like prefab stinner that came with our Max. I think you can talk to her a little bit, but that's about it. But we can we can always get back there now. Strap, you can walk to the the bonfire that's there, I believe. And I think if you want to know, we probably should fight her just for completion's sake, because there is no benefit to leaving her. Oh, these guys. Uh, well, if you can, well, you get her soul, I believe, which I think you can use to make weapons. Um, and you can get a uh, unique weapon if you can't tell off. We might as well try, considering we uh came here. just makes me feel bad because she's you know she is she is <laughs> neutral for all intents and purposes she doesn't try and fight you I think I do have more stuff to find in this area at the very least so I might uh, try and just get all the items that I've missed I think there's also an implication because she uses the um, the old-fashioned speech, much like that DLC woman, that she's very ancient. Maybe, maybe I'm reading into that too much. Yeah, I don't remember what's up with this fin. That just lost a win. Oh god.
Because I think that counts as a dragon as well. I could be wrong. Let's try and remember if you have to, like, run down. This poison attack, like, reaches really far. It's got weird physics as well, if you watch. Look. Um. Oh, you have a lot of health. Ow! Oh, man. Okay. Let me back up. Because, uh... I should be using the physical ring for this. That attack straight up kills the frame rate for some reason. Okay, I'm so overpowered that I'm actually doing okay. Oh, this thing looks so gross. That was worth coming back for. Dragon scale, that's good. Because that's like very rare. Oh, blood shield. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, there's the bone wheel. Very strange weapon, yeah. Here we go. The blood spit the blah, 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 blah. excuse me. <laughs> the blood shield spoken of in the Lost Legends, the red of blood is slightly enchanted and boosts various resistances. Oh yeah, interesting. So I guess if you have it on it makes you Let's see. So let's look at our stats. Yeah, yeah. That's weird it like gives you a bunch of status effect when you swap to it though. <laughs> that seems like a bug. But that's you that that could be quite useful to have. Is this another one? Or is this like part of it that broke off? <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. is super weird whatever it is I think that's like it's back half it like back it's back half like broke off hmm. now let's look around this area more I definitely missed a bunch of items you know while I'm here let's use this blood shield Didn't go up here. Oh, hello. There we go. Let's see if there's anything around here. Oh. 
How do I get that? Weird. Okay, nothing there. I thought that was going to be something. Okay, I got kind of distracted there. What else was I thinking about streaming? Oh. The other thing I've been thinking of is, uh, oh no. It's also taken, so this is a, a, an interesting story. I want to talk about this a bit more when I do fighting game stuff, but <laughs> I was, uh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I have to go all the way down there now. But I was talking to some people about the um, so Tekken Tag Tournament One did have a HD port, but it was uh, only on PlayStation Three, and it's a really weird port. What did you drop? Oh, interesting. Souvenir taken from subduing the guilty. The knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon punished the guilt-soaked offenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The illest corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect of the gods, such as the eternal mandate of the Dark Sun. Oh yeah, that is an ear. It's kind of hard to see. That's weird, because that's a PvP item. You'd normally, um... I think you'd normally get that doing PvP stuff. But I was talking to some people about Tekken Tag Tournament 1. And there are multi there are like a decent size amount of people who thought that Tekken Tag Tournament 1, the HD port on PlayStation 3, had online multiplayer. Because uh it doesn't. <laughs> it's never it's never had it. And like not only did some people believe it did? You can find like um, forum posts or like Discord posts of people talking about, oh, you know, getting games uh, as no one's playing it online. So, <laughs> and they just all. Oh, God, how do you get there? Oh, this might have been a bad. I might not be able to get off of here. Uh. Oh, I'm very lucky my health is as high as it is. See, that's, that's how much stuff I missed in this area. It's that dense and kind of winding the paths. Figure out how to get over there, and um, it's a minor thing. I don't do trophy hunting stuff really. Uh, only it's only if it's it feels obtainable in a specific game. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how you get over there, and this is annoying because once you get over here, you can't fucking. Get back. Not the normal way, at least. You have to, like, go down this way. Yeah, we're completely off path now. But there's one one trophy. Oh, what 
What the fuck? <laughs> that guy, he, had, he wanted nothing to do with me. Oh my god, that was amazing. The guy just gave up. Oh yeah, I've got to backstab these guys so they don't. There we go. There we go. But there's one trophy I'm missing in that game that I'd really like to get. Oh my god, that missed. That look that little little plank looked like you could land on it, but I guess not. Okay, now I think I know who I am. I've gone all over the place though. Actually I don't think I went down this way. I think this is new. But it's um it's just to get a specific time in time attack mode. Which I think all we have to for do for that is just figure out how to cheese their AI a certain way. But it might be a fun stream just to like mess around with that version and then see if we can like play until we get that uh trophy. Okay, what we got here? Ah, oh, gold coin. Oh, you're coming with me, rat. <laughs> Love that physics stuff. Oh, hey, we're back here. Yeah, they really pack a lot into this this area. Despite its size. Kind of forgot about that. I'm really trying to figure out how you get over there. Let's have another look. Uh, okay, you, yeah, you, there we go. Oh yeah, look. Gotta cut that down. There's just a lot of optional stuff to find here. It's probably not all that worth it. I'm surprised I missed over there. That's really easy to get to. I know exactly where that is. Oh, I, I have that key. That key is probably what I need to use. Okay. Oh. These guys love tanking my frame rate. Fun enough, I've ended up having a decent amount of souls again, even though I'm not trying. Okay, I think this is going back to the start, yeah. Okay, I know where I am now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, okay. First, okay, I'm gonna put this this ring back on because it is really useful if you're just uh, 
Like running around. Come on. Yeah, I missed this. Oh, nice. That's the the rins where you can keep your uh, stuff if you don't um, lose it. But I I do have a couple of ideas of different uh, like themed fighting game days. One, it's a really random one, but one I want to do is just look at a bunch of um, Game Boy Advance fighting games. That system has a surprising amount of fighting games on it. Either ports or original ones. And it's just a, a fascinating idea. Of, you know, this, this whole idea of just portable fighting games. Especially because a lot of the time they were trying to pour a lot more advanced games onto, you know, hardware that was in a lot of ways like a slightly more powerful like Super Nintendo, but with a lower resolution. Aha! Cool. I forgot we got that key. <laughs> the bots, they just they just love my streams, they can't help it. Oh damn it. Toxic to me again. The frame rate is bad in game, by the way. Here, oh no, oh no, oh that's a brutal attack. That's rough. Oof, I don't like that. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Oh. No, not again. <laughs> no. I don't know if you can map. Yeah, you can mash out of that. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, they got me. Oh. Fuckers got me. It is worth mentioning that sometimes the frame drops are on my end and then sometimes they're, <laughs> they're the game. Okay. Well, that was a lot. So... We need to try and get all that back now. It's not far, but I now see you do it, and then you remember. Oh yeah, when you do that bit, like three of them jump down all at once. One down. Okay. Let's actually put this ring back on. Because the defense it gives me does really help. Okay, that's good because I've 
yeah, just aggroed him without the others spawning. No, no. Oh. It's not easy, but you can mash out of that. Okay, that's interesting. I guess you can farm. I wonder if those are unique drops or if they're repeatable drops. There we go. Man, sometimes you make this game look so fucking easy. <laughs> Like I yeah I died to that because I was stupid the first time round. Okay. Aha! That's how you get this item. Oh. That's gear I didn't have before. Anything around here? No. Okay. We'll check out that in a bit. Let's keep going. There we go. Can't believe they rebuilt that wall. I'm surprised I got that. Oh, I think someone liked my message. Oh, here we go. Got another blacksmith. Dark Ember. Oh, it's good I came over here. That lets you uh, make more weapons. Alright, I think that's a. That's definitely not everything, but I think that's all the key stuff we have here now. gonna run back to the bonfire just because we are we are gonna give Priscilla a, uh, a chance I think the main reason they make the fight optional is it's actually very hard from what I remember yeah thought you guys were gonna aggro that was a terrible time in there just swap back to uh where is it that strength up and still parry <laughs> Do that every so often just to show off that I can still do it. There we go. And then these lads, I'm just gonna run past. How long will we be going for? Hmm. Okay, I think the bed of chaos area is where you said to go next. Let's 
So we might have a quick look over there. Probably won't do the whole area though, just, you know. Just check it out, see what's what. There we go. And then this guy again. See, this is what I mean. Um, yeah, I think Demon Ruin is where we, we can go next. But that's what I mean about how enemies in these games are vulnerable to everything you are. Because, yeah, some of them will try and heal themselves. And when they do, it uh, that happens. It's a shame that to get to this boss fight you do have to run through a lot of stuff. Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. Thou must return it I Okay. I, I, you know what? I'm going to leave her for now. I don't know why. I just don't like having to fight her. <laughs> so, straight up, in my uh, first original playthrough, the only reason why I fought her is because I accidentally hit her. <laughs> like, it wasn't intentional at all. I, um... I, like, rolled... And I think it like collided with her and the game counted it as an attack. Oh man, they're not dropping as much as I thought they'd be. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's 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 Dark Souls though. You don't really have to do things in quote unquote order. I you know, I did the the Blight Town boss before um even going through the depths. Like, they do let you do a lot of stuff like that. But yeah, when you have uh, humanity on you, you, you have a higher drop rate. Yeah, we'll have a look then. I'm obviously not going to do, like, the whole thing. Because that's, uh... That's a lot. I'm going to talk to the blacksmith guy, though. Because uh, I want to see if he wants this ember or if I need to give it to um, the giant. I don't know why. It's, it is weird that she says the inhabitants are peaceful when they're clearly not. Because <laughs> they, you know, they're peaceful with each other. But as soon as they see you, they... They come right after you. There you go. But yeah, see, you can you can just walk back in there whenever you want. Maybe right near the end. Well, do you know what? I feel like I would only do the fight if I can <laughs> like upload my save and then do it. 
it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but like there's the play style that a lot of people will do that just before they'll go and do the final boss, they'll just kill all the NPCs. And I don't know why, but I, I just couldn't bring myself to do something like that. <laughs> I like immersing myself that this world is real, so the idea of um, <laughs> just killing everyone, because it's, you know, there's, it's the point of no return. It's just a dick move to me. Okay. Where is it? We got, uh, here we are. Mask worn by pardoners serving Velka, the goddess of sin. The pardoners listen to the confessions of sinners. Urging reflection and salvation. Their masks symbolize separation from worldly desires. I think this guy is the one you can find at the top of the church the, where the bell is. I think this is the gear he wears. I'm trying to see what the stats are. I have to equip it. But it's easier to read the gear like this. Uh, the pardoner's attire is uniformly black in color and said to be imbued with Velka's mysterious power, which provides resistance against all magic. Oh man, that might have been um, that might have been good for the area we did last stream, uh, Duke's Archive. Uh, there was also a sword. I think I got. Where is it? There we go. A symbolic, powerful thrusting sword used by the Pardoner serving Velka, Goddess of Sin. It is no mere symbol to be sure. The Pardoner is an inhuman swordsman and wields this enchanted blade with special powers. So yeah, if you piss off a covenant, you can spend souls to get pardoned. So that's why he's called the Pardoner. Mm. Show me that ember of yours. Yeah, I'll show you the ember. I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Yes. Well, thank you. This ember really is something special. I'm already under its spell. I sense great potential indeed. There you go. Sen's Fortress is an old proving grounds built by the... Oh, there you go. You were asking about Sen's Fortress. It is the only route leading to the great Anor Londo. Of course, most fools can't even find their way into that fortified death trap. But they won't stop trying. Take that bumbling Saranyan. <laughs> <laughs> um... I believe he can now make a cult stuff. Hang on, my cat's been annoyed. Mini! <laughs> but it, that lets him do some modifying that he couldn't do before. Okay. Uh, what else was I upgrading here? This I can't do yet because you need twi Twingling Twilight. And I know where to buy it though. Oh, hey, I can upgrade that. Uh, the Grave Lord Sword, which I might upgrade. Yeah, if I ever needed the cult stuff. That's one of the dragon weapons. Bars and spears. Let's see. Aha! Plus seven. <laughs> there we go. Go get you. I want to check something quick. Well, I need. Okay. Won't be seeing yeah. you then. Can't remember if I had any other embers with me. I should mention, actually, he says about will you give it to me, but they actually stay. Oh, no, they don't. These, I think, I have to give to... That I have to give to the giant. And that is for another... Finn. That 
we haven't found yet. He's in the catacombs. Hmm. Okay. So let's go to Daughter of Chaos. And say hello. So yeah, this this area straight up I never did. I must have done some other stuff in my old save file because I'm like 10 levels higher. But I didn't do this area. Weirdly enough, I remember doing the catacombs like all the way through. Yeah, why not? It's just fun. There we go. Now oh, you can give her humanity. Weird. I think if you give her humanity, it does do something. Oh. There is nothing except if you lay a hand on the fair lady, you should be prepared to face my wrath. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll leave her alone. Okay. So is this the... Is this the demon's ruins? Uh, you know what? New Londo I haven't done. And I think I did that in my old save file. Yeah. It's kind of interesting because there's a part of the catacombs there we go, where you can actually um, see this area. I wonder if we could figure out where that is. Uh, what ring? these egg fellas uh you gotta fight a fin now <laughs> good instructions there Hostile. Yeah, you are. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Okay, I kind of remember these fins actually. Oh yeah, you mentioned the Rinnick that she talked to her. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a tree area there. There is an area, an optional area that I actually never got to. Um, through the tree and I'm curious if I should try and get to there down and to the right across the lava is ceaseless discharge okay just having a look just double checking there's nothing here no. okay Yeah, 
probably a lot of stuff around here. Let's run over here then. But yeah, this this is definitely unfamiliar territory for me. I don't remember doing this area. I want to say I didn't. But I'm not sure. Or if I did do it. No, you know, I think I did do some of this area. Yeah, I did do some of this area. I don't think I finished it though. What's this? Well, this is, you know, quite far through the game to get to this this area. Hello, Mini. Come on, come settle down. Come on. Come here. Hello. Why are you clawing up my bed, huh? Why are you clawing up my bed? Why are you doing that? Oh. She's a little myth for some reason. Oh, I've got the blanket here for you. There you go. Hang on. Mini! Is this what you want? Come on. <laughs> What do you want, Minnie? Huh? Do you want? Hmm. We'll figure out what she wants later. <laughs> this is a cool area, though. I hope it looks good on the stream. It's the color range and stuff is uh, nuts. You kind of notice it with this engine that when you get into certain areas, the lighting model will just kind of change. But it's cool. I will say, like, especially for the time, because there's parts of this game that can look very gritty and, um, uh, you know, that, that kind of brown grey look of the generation. But then they will also. Oh, okay. Let's leave that thing for now. I think I did do some of this area. Either that, or I watched someone do it. But this is starting to come familiar. Okay, we have to go this way apparently. This fucking thing. <laughs> Can I talk to you? <laughs> what is up with this guy? <laughs> Let's just leave him, I guess. Oh, does he attack you once we pick this up? Yeah. Ceaseless discharge. That's what they called me in, uh, in high school. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. This is a uh, very big boss. For, um, for souls. I'm not sure if I'm going to have an opportunity to put it on though. <laughs> Oh, 
Plus, look how much damage I'm doing. I think if I just roll out the way. I can't stress enough, like, how, uh, how, um, over-leveled this sword is. There we go. There we go. You're way behind on my my chat. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, heal, and I've already killed it. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. I, I must have done something here. I wonder why I just don't remember it. So, what gear was that? Actually, missed the name. No, it's not the yellow one. I guess. Let's just look and see what's got like. Was it this? Ah, the the queen, the witch, Yuliaf queen. Yeah. Uh. She wore this gold hem black cloak before even the age of fire and it offers strong resistance versus fire, poison and other perils. So that's just really good gear yeah, in general. Yeah, the witch. That's um, that's one of the um, four souls we're going after, actually. Oh, that's just a circle. I keep forgetting that. I really can't tell if I did do any of this area. I'd have to load up my save and check. But I remember some of it. But I don't remember a lot. There is also huge... Law the running. <laughs> so how long are we going? Almost two hours. Probably not gonna go too much longer. Like I said, the one thing I wanna figure out is what time I wanna try and do that tree area. I, I, you know, we're not going to be going for a really crazy completionist run, but I do want to do most of the sizable optional content. Like, I have the DLC. We might as well check it out. And the uh, tree area has a covenant that I've never even seen, because... Uh, I never actually uh, got down there in my uh, playthrough. It's about where I stopped and got distracted by something. But I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh god, I do so much damage, I keep forgetting that. Is 
run if you're not just here. Oh wow, this is a whole path. Okay, let's not go that way yet. I think that's that's the way you mean you need to go down actually. So we'll keep going up this way. That'll be a good idea. No, no. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wasn't looking. Whoops! That's alright, that wasn't that far. It just takes time to get there. That was a good death though. I like that death. <laughs> That's a fun one. Big jump. Yeah, this area's just massive. Yeah, I'm back. Hey, little goat head. Okay, so where where are my souls? Where was I not looking where I was going? There we go. There's definitely a main area that I've not been to that I remember doing. It's it's just so weird trying to pass your like fragmented memories from that long ago. Or if I'm thinking of demon souls and I'm like mixing the memories up, because <laughs> oh god, big ones. Oh, I missed. Yeah, now I'm dead. Okay. Might want to use the fog ring here. Fog ring's good. <laughs> oh. It is, it's, it is just such a blessing that we did the um, the Covenant to get this ring. Because it is just so useful. Well, the thing is, the fire resistance you only really need. I believe there are some optional items that you have to run through the lava to get. So it will be good for that. But... In that case, I just need to, um, you know, not roll into the fire <laughs> while I'm fighting them. And then I'll be fine. I mean, if you, if you want to, you can play these games in such a way that you run past basically everything. There they are. Oh, there's a lot of them.
This might be quite a short stream. I don't know if I'm going to do that much more. I might clear, like, this bottom area out. And then call it. Okay, let's, uh... Just want to get out of this narrow area. There we go. Give ourselves some breathing room. Look how much damage I do though. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I can't stress enough, like, look how much damage this sword does. Like, 300. <laughs> like, there's some of the, uh, that's really close to, like, this. And that's one of the, uh... Minnie, what are you doing? Come here. Come on. Don't rub on my mic stand. Come here. No! <laughs> Come here. Come on. Come on. Do you want attention? Oh no, I'm not giving her enough attention. Oh no. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> My cat wants all the attention. Normally you just chill when I stream. There you go, is that better? I think I've got a settled. Oh, that was a bad idea. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Now she's settled down. Hang on. You were purring earlier, now you moved. Okay. Alright, yeah, you'd want the flame resistance stuff to get that. Man, they're just trolling with this area, aren't they? Like, look how many of them they put over here. Hang on, what, what I should be doing... Where are they? I picked up enough of them. There we go. Oh, careful. That hit? Oh. Fuck this up. Let's just run away from now. Run away. <laughs> oh my god, they're... F they're like faster than me. They're like really fast. <laughs> okay. I hit their, uh... I'm trying to tell. I think these guys might be... They might not respawn. I think when they, they have that different sound effect when you kill them, that's what that means.
Okay. Well, let's just try and be a bit more careful. Oh man, even with this fog ring, they still protect you like really well. That's that's like my universal pro tip if you ever fight in these big enemies is because of the way they're um like the way they swim. If you kind of just roll into their legs, it's not the safest option, but it's um it's a good way to just completely avoid their hitbox of where they their attack is. Oh, they like mini Taurus demons. Oh, they are. There we go. Yeah, if I, especially if I use this two-handed, this this sword is very strong if you go two-handed. If you're sensible, you can do, you can get through this game like it's nothing. Didn't even dodge that time. You always mention about oh, if you're stuck, should I go back and, and level up and heal and things like that. You kind of can in this game. Like people forget that, but you can um, build your character in a, such a way that you can get past stuff. <laughs> you probably shouldn't. Okay. Is there anything back here? Or is this just a fun dead end? No, it's just a fun dead end. Okay. Do you, this is the bit where we need the flame gear, right? I'm, I'm guessing. has the highest flame resistance. Yeah, it's gonna be the It's gonna be this stuff. Can't believe it, gonna have to take the bag off. It's it's a little bit over leveled, but I can't I can't um uh I forget the phrase, but it's I, yeah I can't stress enough that upgrading the sword is what's giving me this much damage. Like yes, I've put my strength up every time, but that's making like a very incremental upgrade to how much damage I'm doing. Whereas every time I upgrade this sword. That was very close. Oh, we got the Chaos Ember. Can see my little uh, zombie feet. Like my level's not really what's helping me out because the level, more than anything, just uh, affects what equipment you can use for the most part. Like, vitality helps, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. But having really high endurance so you can equip, um, you know, the stronger gear. Oh, dear. Okay, uh, we're just going. I don't think I can get back off of here. So... There we go. 
because <laughs> I'm I don't trust that I can get back over without uh that shows you like how strong that stuff is like even with all this flame resistant gear on it just feels weird though I gotta put my yeah okay now I've gotta remember I think it's okay I'm just gonna put all this black iron gear back on I need to put something on a bit different because I have to have my equipment at load at like 46. I think I actually had to have all legs on, which is weird. But let's see what I can. Oh no, it needs to be even under that. Let's see. That's very odd. If I'm at like 91... Oh, I guess I need to be like slightly under 45. Put some black tights on, there we go. God, that's a weird look. <laughs> I think I must have had different gloves on, actually. I'm betting that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's just change the gloves quick. I should have just written down what I had on. Yeah, it's a bit too heavy. That's very heavy. Okay, I'll leave I'll leave that set on now. There we go. Uh don't know if lava and flame are separate. Actually I don't know either. That's a good point. But okay, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reverse my hollow in now so I don't forget. And Kindle. Here we go. And yeah, we'll we'll end things for now. But let's level up. Oh, it's tempting just to keep putting this up just to help with the equipment load. Yeah, I think we'll do that. There we go. Alright, well I picked up a lot of weird stuff. I got this dried finger. I don't know what that does. <laughs> got some more coins. I should. I need to just look these all up. I was gonna say because when you were, if you were playing these games when they came out, kind of like if you're playing Elden Ring right now, a lot of that game is supposed to be about community discussion and discovery. Whereas if you're playing this, these now, it's like, yeah, there's still a player base, but you know, I gotta figure out what I can make with those souls. Um, you know, the, most of the discovery is being done basically. 
So a lot of this stuff you don't really have to figure out anymore. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I picked up anything interesting. Yeah, see, there's the broken pendant. Powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone. Yet, yeah, men of this time can even manipulate Norsense's power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. And, uh, yeah, there's all my magic. Need a lot of decent stats to equip a lot of these. Like you can see, my faith in intelligence is both at nine because the character I picked. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll win Finns here. You know, I'll repair my stuff because I'll forget to do that. It's just good to do, so you never have to worry about gear breaking. There we go. Oh, the fire ember is in the area that boss... I thought we got the fire ember. That's, uh... That's this, right? You sure that's not what we picked up? Because... <laughs> This is a Chaos Flame Ember, which allows you to do flame, yeah, alright. Yeah, we're end spins off here. Now, I don't want to make any promises, but I'm, I want to try and do a stream tomorrow, which I think is going to be the one-off, um, either Tekken Tag Tournament 1 or 2. I'll let you know. Um, I'm trying to find, because I've mentioned to people, it's like, I know a lot of people don't own this, but, you know, if anyone wants to try and just play that same day, we'll get a bunch of people in. But I'll, I'll try and stream tomorrow. I'll let you know how things go. Keep an eye on my Twitter if you ever want to see updates. And I'll tweet, you know, I'll try and tweet like an hour or two before I would stream to let you know if I'm, if I am streaming or not. But, yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for trying to help me raid my friend who raided me at the start of this, because <laughs> I appreciate that. And yeah, I let the, the half dragon lady live because she's nice. <laughs> All right, uh, take care, everyone. <laughs>